Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away. Two elderly English knights sitting in a lounge room. Their names are Anodius and Russellon. Hello! Good evening! Both knights had been guarding the king all day and were unwinding with some much needed relaxation. This pot is just lovely. What's it called? The person at the gates calls it Boot because he ground it up in an old boot. Time passes and the knights become very relaxed. Uh, I, 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 I'm bait. <laughs> Come Tolon Nishkio Gobbit. What? That was his name. No, no, no. I said I'm bait. Me too. They were also very bored. So they decided to go on a hunt for some bear brand gin. That is a brilliant idea, Mr. Voice coming out of nowhere, man. Thank you. No worries. Rassalon! 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 What? Uh, what is it? What? We are going to the other side of town. Why? To get some bear brand gin. What? To get some bear gin, you fool. What? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt? We're going to catch a big one. Oh, I'm not scared. Well, let's go. The old men made their way towards the Castle Inn on the other side of town. The only place in all of Nottingham where Bear Brand Gin was sold. They head down the road and towards the town. I'm very happy. I like gin. I'm also very happy because I also like gin. Uh, why do we have to announce our feelings like that? It's a radio show, remember? <laughs> oh, can't see yes. Oh, uh, yeah. All Russell, right, just now. get on with it. Um, yes, very happy. Suddenly, a beggar in the street starts moving towards the knights. Oh, no. How do we politely ignore this tosser? We can't go over him. No. We can't go around him. Well, we could... We'll have to go through him. What? Russellon draws his sword. Aronodius just goes with it. Hello. Would either of you like to buy a big issue magazine? It's only a... Co what are you doing? For England! <laughs> <laughs> they sliced and diced the beggar. That's funny. He spent his life begging, but he didn't beg for his life. Weird. Shall we continue with our quest? Let's. The brave knights press on like good Englishmen do. The knights make it to the city border and the castle is in sight, but another obstacle is in the way. Aronodius correctly expresses his anguish and frustration. For fuck's sake! He and Russellond are presented with the town canal. It is made up of mostly oil and fecal matter from many different sources. There is water in there. Somewhere. Also, the rumour of decomposing corpses. We can't go in there. We can't go around it. We can't go over it. And we can't go under it. We'll have to swim through it. Aronodius removes his armour and his clothing. There must be another way. There is no other way. Aronodius places his legs in the freezing cold thick soup of muck and eventually leaps into it. His feet only just touch the bottom. He steps on something mushy. Oh, what the hell is that? A rotting corpse is pulled up to the surface. Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> He hurries to the other side where Rosalond is waiting. How did you? Turns out we could have gone over it. Look, a bridge. I hate you. Aronodius pulls himself out of the canal and they press on like good Englishmen do. The knights are within throwing distance of the castle and the old castle inn. But yet again, an obstacle. You remember how to get into the castle? Normally there's a gate. It's over there, but it's closed. How can they be closed? It's only half past three in the morning. Shit! They have closed for the fucking night! Well, we're gonna have 
to get in to steal some gin. How are we going to get inside? This wall is a hundred feet high. Then we can't go over it. You have more chance of catching the king in his underwear running down the high street of Nottingham screaming, I've got the need, the need for speed. Who's got any speed? Okay. Anyway, we can't go under it. No. Nor can we go around it. Well, we could, but we just end up in the same spot. And we definitely cannot go through it. We are not going to the old castle inn tonight, Harinodius. Bugger it, let's go home. After a long journey of one and a quarter miles, and having to suffer polluted canals and plague-infested beggars, they went home. They gave up and whinged about it all the way home, like good Englishmen do. The End Video killed the radio show. Video killed the radio show. Video killed the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> we are the knights who say nip.